Yeah. That sounds fun. It could be sounds a Sounds comfortable. Sounds yeah. very comfortable. Yeah. And it'll be plenty hot, even in the overnight. So it should right. be a fun announcement. Today's temperatures, it's a step. It's not the summit. <laughs> it's just okay. a step. Oh, boy. Salt Lake City stopped at 99 degrees today, 100s. They're coming tomorrow. Here was the sunset tonight. Paul Stout capturing the smoky sunset here along the Wasatch Front. It's not as thick. As the smoke isn't as thick here as it is in other spots, but it will be increasing in intensity as we watch a little pattern shift coming later in the week. Paul, thanks for the great sunset picture. Here are the current air quality uh, networks across the area. Logan, a couple stations have flipped into the moderate, but Ogden through Layton and over uh, Davis County into Salt Lake County, We've got lots of stations that have flipped into the moderate category. Same story, Summit Park to Park City, Heber City, and then down into Provo. The reason? Well, the wildfires burning across the state. Some of that smoke is being spread out and starting to infiltrate some of the valleys. North Ogden, 66. It's on the low end of the moderate, but it's there. Oakley just barely into the moderate category. Sandy, 31. They're fine. Provo at Lakeshore Drive, 72 in the middle of that category. But as the week goes on, we're going to see an increase in the smoke, and the air quality will deteriorate. If you'd like to check it out for yourself, get the free KSL weather app, go to the air quality page, and you can get the information you can only find on KSL. Current temperature, look at Salt Lake, 86 degrees at the 10 o'clock hour, 70s over in Vernal and Price, still 80s in Moab. St. George just barely dipped below 100. They're holding at 99 at 10 o'clock. As we look across the west, it's pretty quiet. There's this huge ridge of high pressure that's bringing us this sweltering heat, kind of holding over Las Vegas. The influence, it's way up into the Pacific Northwest where we saw triple digit temperatures up towards Seattle and Portland. Now, the overall pattern is not going to change all that much. The high pressure is going to start to move. But as this high starts to bubble over Utah, things are going to change. Right now, the flow is from north to south. But when this high gets over Utah by Thursday night and Friday, we start to draw from the south, and that will transport some of the smoke back into northern areas. By Saturday, the high is over the Utah-Colorado border. We bring in some cloud cover, but we are in a prime position to lift in both moisture from the south and to bring in the smoke, which will cause choking air quality conditions across much of the state. Tomorrow, sunny, hot, dry. 99 in Beaver, 91 in Loa, 100 plus for Moab, Hanksville, Kanab, and St. George goes to 113. We'll break a record on Friday in St. George at 113 again, and then slide back bringing in a few clouds Saturday, Sunday, and temperatures back a little closer to normal as we head through Monday and Tuesday. Northern Utah this evening, clear skies, sunny tomorrow, and the 90s of today, they're gone. Salt Lake City back above 100. In fact, we will climb to 103. Ogden does the same, 102 in Sandy with 100 degrees in Tooele and Provo. Seven-day forecast. Two records coming Thursday and Friday, 105, 106. Then we drop 90s return by Monday and Tuesday with a few clouds. But the problem, which I haven't added in there, is the smoke that's coming. Matt Johnson will be here tomorrow morning at 4.30. He'll give you the latest on the forecast. But just be grateful. Our low tonight will not be 100 degrees there you like go. Death Valley. So Death Valley. We're not Death Valley. There you All go. All right. Thanks, Kev. You're welcome. We'll be back with sports.